Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Bhapna. In today's video, we will talk about MuleSoft Intelligent Document Processing Part 1. Right? So first, let's understand what is a MuleSoft Intelligent Document Processing. So MuleSoft IDP enables you to read the invoices, purchase order and any other structure and the unstructured document to analyze and extract the information using AI capability to create the structure response. What does this mean? So IDP can take unstructured data or structured data as an input and it can generate a output as a structured data. It can be in the JSON format. The input can be a PDF file. It can be uh, any image file which uh, uh, supported image format are PNG, JPEG and TIP format, right? So these are the few uh, supported format uh, for the intelligent document processing. So let me uh, in like uh, what are the different types of documents supported by intelligent document processing so it has it support invoices and the purchase order right it also uh, support uh, various uh, document related to healthcare like uh, patient information like uh, maybe any uh, report uh, right? pa patient related reports it also uh, can process a loan doc loan document insurance document education and the government document or any legal notes right in today's video what we will going to do we will use the invoice as our example right for the demonstration right so first thing what we will do we will create a document action right so let me start creating a document action so when you want to process any document uh, using idp right when you, when, you, when you want to extract any information using idp you have to create a document action Right, so there is one more thing. So what IDP does? So IDP use optical character recognition technique plus AI capabilities to extract the information from the PDF file, or it can be any uh, image file or any unstructured data, and convert those data into the structured data. And structured data is nothing; it's a JSON format. Okay. So let me start creating a uh, first document action. Either you can directly create from here, create new. Or you can also go to document action and you can create it from you. I will say create document action. I will and if you see, we have a multiple types: uh, invoice and purchase order. For invoice, we already have a, a predefined metadata. So these are the like you know generic field or general fields you can expect in the invoice. So metadata is already defined for the invoice. For even for purchase order, the metadata is already defined. For generic, we don't. In case. Uh, if you have any document other than invoice and the process uh, purchase order you can use this you can select the type as a generic okay but in case uh, we will go with the invoice let me uh, give some name demo invoice processing function okay you can provide the description it is not mandatory but i uh, for now i will just copy this and i will paste this i will say create so now you can see it here uh, it created a document action okay and the name for the document action is demo invoice processing function and here you can see all the metadata all the fields right and uh, you can see it here you can see there are up to like around 51 fields uh, like you know related to invoice then table table is nothing like uh, we have a line items uh, on the invoices right so those will be displayed under the tables and in case if you want to give any prompt right so it use the Einstein AI or it, it use the AI capability to process the prompt and retrieve the information from the document we are going to see everything so let me first start uh, uh, I need to select uh, invoice file first let me I have a few invoices file I will select files and I will go to desktop my desktop have something called IDP folder Right, let me uh, extract one of the invoice so I have this particular invoice right so I have this particular simple uh, invoice available I can use this invoice so if you see this invoice like have some kind of like uh, detail uh, which have a date and three line items we have a total right so I have just uploaded the invoice and let me run this let's see what happens and this invoice is nothing it's in the PDF format So let me do one thing let me bit yeah so i've just minimized the screen size so here you can see it start extracting the field 
so signature it's saying not found right so which is correct like it if it's not found it will show as a not found i can just disable this field okay tax again there's a no tax on the invoice i can disable this total so total it is properly extracted which is 3050 and if you click here right it will also highlight the total here right so if you click on this particular box it will highlight the total and if you click it here it will give the confidence in uh, three confidence level like it's saying i am 99.99 percent .99 sure that particular value is correct so the threshold is 80 right in case if your confidence level is lesser than threshold right your document will go under the manual validation we are going to see those example uh, in the upcoming videos right so just understand you can define the threshold right and the confidence level will be automatically generated by your idp right in this case my confidence level is greater than my threshold it means this field is correctly extracted as per ai so ai is 99.9 .9 sure i have extracted this field correctly i don't have a emails i don't have a due date right here you can see like you know parties buyer all these things so it has also i extracted this let uh, disable this let disable this right and let me uh, check more things okay so i i want to check the parties vendors and everything has been extracted properly now i want to see like uh, like you know what is the uh, confidence level of this party vendor so it's saying 95.82 percent it is again greater than your threshold let's see invoice date so let me if i want to highlight this invoice date it is highlighted the invoice date here right and just click on invoice it is saying i am 97.74 percent sure that your invoice is correct okay so this is what it generated now go to tables if you go to tables so in tables it will display all this item win promo code service date rebate account let me know let me click on table so here you can see it is displaying the price like let me click on price so it will highlight that particular price here 1200 and it the here you can see the confidence level which is 100 percent right same thing like it's second line item 1100 which is again correct let me click here it will highlight it then also it will display some kind of description it also displaying the product code right now we don't have a field to you know extract the promo code and all this thing we can add the prompts and to get the promo code let me take one more invoice let me select file this time i will take the invoice in my png format so you can see this is the png format and uh, let me take this one let me take this one okay so where it is gone so it is showing here okay let me run i will close one of them okay so let me close this let me go to and it's saying like uh out of like it have like 38 fields has been extracted out of 47 why it's saying initially it was 51 right because i've disabled some of the fields right if i enable it it will increase that okay so let me show signature right now so let me run it again let me enable all the fields like all 51 let me run this again okay so it's saying signature right so uh, it's saying like true it's my signature is true so this, if i click on this it will highlight the signature here right but this particular like idp is like only 73.75 percent sure that whether uh, the, i extracted the value for signature is correct or wrong right which is less than uh, our threshold so it means this particular document will go under the manual validation which means somebody has to go and the review the document right to so review this field whether i have extracted this field correctly so till somebody doesn't go and review it right the document will be under the manual validation you can add the reviewers here right so you can add who are the people uh, who can review my document when it is under the manual validation so those kind of reviewers can be added here and you will see those under the review task we will see this example later okay and if you see the total has been also extracted properly so it's uh, it's saying i am 100 percent sure the total has been extracted correctly right so there's a no email so it's saying like no email found right same thing like up uh, we can check more thing like i want to see these terms and conditions let's see whether it's so here it's my payment terms and condition payment is due within 15 days it has been extracted correctly if i click it here it's saying 95.32 percent sure now let me go to table I click on this particular field it will display the table data 
so it from the table it has extracted everything right you can see like price this is 99.99 percent confidence level 99.97 same thing right for each and field so here you can see the description here you can see the unit price you have also have a quantity one two three right so that is how it extract the information let me go to fields again i need to verify a few more things right here uh, like i want to verify the tax and whatever so you can see the total amount which is 13715.2 that is also extracted correctly you can see it's 100% sure let's see tax now so for tax 1469.52 that is also extracted correctly and 99.80% is the uh, confidence level right let's add few prompts here right i want to add few prompts so basically i want to uh, i can add one simple from basically i can say due date right i can say what is invoice due date i can add prompt i can say whether this required or not if i click on required and this and this field is not present in invoice right then this uh, this document will undergo the uh, review basically it will undergo the review correct and, and the status will be the manual validation so i will not mark this as required for now let me add one more field invoice total i will add one more prompt what is the invoice total i will keep required for this time add i can just say i can add some i can say payment terms what is what are the payment terms and condition okay add this and now you can run it okay let's see so it's uh, extracted due date which is 2604 which is correct and the confidence level is 98% which is good what is the invoice total again 98% 13715.2 what is the payment terms and condition payment is due within the 15 days so it has a, it has replied for all the prompts which we have given correctly right and with with uh, a confidence level greater than 80% in case if you want to decrease or increase this threshold you can do easily right i can say 81 if i want 90 right so i can say right depending on that it will go under the manual validation or it will automatically get approved okay so now i will save this i will publish this i will publish this to any point exit the next step once i have uh, you are confident you have done the testing you can publish to any point exchange so once you publish to any point exchange it will give you two apis so if somebody some uh, third party system you want to integrate uh, for sending the uh, sending the pdf invoices or invoices or purchase order or any document right you can call those api to send uh, to send the uh, those document to the idp and to get the status right so you can use the get method uh, which uh, which we, you can find in the any point exchange let me go there and i will just let you i will show you okay so here you can see post method the post method is basically is used to uh, post the invoice to idp and, to, and to, to, to to this particular document action we can like you know when we use this url for each document action there will be a different url see this particular action id will got changed okay so make sure like uh, uh, like you know that for each action there will be a separate uh, action id it uh, it is unique across the uh, what i will say unique across the mule soft or any point platform okay and this is a post for invoice and to get the status whether it's under manual validation or whether it's succeeded and whatever field has been extracted you can you use get method to get it okay we're going to see in next video okay i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching